Well, firstly, Paul, after a spirited performance against Wimbledon and unfortunate defeat against Braintree, our attention turns back to the Cup, starting with Worthing, the FA Trophy on Saturday before the exceptionally huge FA Cup replay at Kings Meadow. Yeah, we've got two big games coming up. Um, probably a defining week in our season in many ways, because if we get through against uh, Worthing, it makes us the last 16 of the trophy. And obviously, we've got the big game against Wimbledon on Tuesday. Um, so, you know, we either... We'll be in a good mood Tuesday. I think you know the, the minimum is we want to get through at least one of the two competitions to, to keep that interest going. Uh, because we, we must also concentrate on what's going on in the league as well. Um, so what have you made of Worthing season so far? Yeah, they had a slow start. Um, that's to be expected because it's a, a tough league, the Ryman Premier League. Um, they've certainly over the last two or three months picked up and they're in great form. Uh, I think they've, you know, they've won 13 to 14 games out of the last 15, 16. So it's going to be a tough game Saturday. Uh, good club, good manager, I know Gary Alfred well, uh, and he's put together a very good young team there that's that's very Worthing based, and you can see their crowds are improving. Um, very similar club to ours in terms of 3G and the community based aspect of it, um, but they've got two you know hot hot strikers at the moment in Lloyd Dawes and uh, Bugel. 20 goals each is a fantastic effort. Uh, I know the two wide boys as well, and Aaron Hopkinson. So you know we're not going to underestimate Worthing. Um, at all, uh, and obviously with the waveform at the moment, we do want to get a positive result. Uh, what did you make of the draw on uh, Monday? Well, the FA Cup draw. Yeah. Uh, fantastic draw for the uh, for, each, for whichever club was to get through. Um, obviously, made it even sweeter that BT Sport are, are going to show the game live. So financially, it's a, a huge game for both clubs. But I think it's also a great chance taking away the money, the romance, the FA Cup, Wimbledon ourselves against Leeds is going to be a a cracking game. And uh, Tuesday night was uh, one of those games we experienced a lot away from home this season as uh, we had lots of chances but didn't take them and uh, we ended up losing by the odd goal. Uh, story of our season away from home, um, got to say you know, I was majorly disappointed uh, with the result again, not, not so much the performance but to have six clear chances uh, and not to take one of them uh, was disappointing and you know Braintree had one shot on goal, uh, scored and it allows them to go and sit back uh, and suck the pressure up. But, you know, we, uh, we are very disappointed. I think that the strikers have got to look at themselves at the moment. Um, we haven't scored enough goals from the f uh, front four this season. And it's something that we're looking to address. And, um, you know, I think we've given people plenty of chances to go and score. Uh, we make enough chances. It's not like we don't create enough. If we weren't creating chances, I'd have more of an issue. But at the moment, as I said, six to seven clear chances against... Um, brain tree and then to come away with a defeat it does mirror 80% of the games this year. Uh, just going back on to the FA Cup your side can take a lot of confidence going into next Tuesday as you competed exceptionally well and also um, Sutton had the more clear cut chances. I think it was you know it was our best chance to get through I've got to be honest about that I think that uh, it was a pitch that Wimbledon didn't want to play on I think that was clear to us uh, during the build up during the week um, but they are a League One team who are good at home, and you know we are the massive underdogs now. We we accept that, but there is a chance um, within the camp. We know that there's a good chance, and we would have to play at our very very best, and hopefully perhaps Wimbledon have a ten percent day off, uh, and we would be very close then if that was the case to you know to doing something quite remarkable. How do you feel, uh, Jeffrey Monacana, Sefton, and also how pleased you to land Afi Coco? Uh, two things there. Mon Monacana settled in well. Um, very popular you know, already amongst the group. It's going to take him at least three to four weeks to get match fitness, sharpness. I thought he did okay on Tuesday night. A couple of great deliveries in. Again, Max should have scored two of the headers that his crosses have uh, produced. Uh, Afi's a different scenario. He's been with us training here every Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, I organised uh, him to go to Staines uh, for this season to get some football. But he's impressing us in training. And obviously, uh, Tuesday night with the uh, four four lads that were struggling uh, from the game but also struggling because they were nine bookings then that Afi was brought into the squad. Uh, how's Dan Spencer's fitness getting on and also how have Jamie Collins and Ben Jeffy coped with their injuries? Uh, well with regards to Dan Spence he's obviously back now I thought he played very well I thought the back five were excellent uh, against Braintree and I think Spence is a good player when fit. Um, again uh, with regards to Jamie he's got a calf strain so he wouldn't have been available for Tuesday night for the Braintree game. And Ben Jefford uh, has just gone to uh, the chiropractor again, um, sorting his back out, which we think is a problem for his hamstring. 
and he'll start running in about a week's time. And lastly, I'm guessing you will take the side on Saturday with Tuesday night in mind. No, um, we've had to, again, look at it. Louis John, unfortunately, is cup tied uh, for the trophy game. And uh, Kevin O'Manqua uh, can't, couldn't get through from Tuesday to today, so Kevin's not fit. So uh, we need to look at uh, the side that we're going to pick. But we have got some injuries. We obviously, clearly, have got to look at the situation with the four players uh, that have got nine bookings. Uh, Simon Downer, Jamie Collins, Craig Eastman and Nick Bailey. Uh, so, you know, it's also a chance now for people that haven't had enough game time this year to step up to the plate. Um, like I said, I thought Lewis John did well Tuesday. I thought Dan Spence did well Tuesday. Um, but yeah, it is a team that's going to need to prepare well. We've done that today with the team that we're going to pick. I'm not telling you who we're going to pick. Um, but clearly I've got to take into account lots of different factors uh, for Saturday. But the biggest factor is I'm desperate to get through. Uh, the team want to progress in this competition. We've targeted this competition this year. And we know that I think this could be one of our toughest uh, toughest away games because, again, Worthing will know their pitch. It's different to ours. Um, it's harder surface than ours, more rubber crumb than ours, and it's a drier pitch. They don't, they don't wet the pitch there. But to give you an idea, we've watched them twice. Um, we've done all of our homework and we've taken them as seriously as we do any other competition in the National League. Uh, Paul, thank you very much for talking to SGS TV and good luck for Saturday's game against Worthing and the FA Cup replay against Wimbledon.